One of the most important things to remember in physics is this. All quantities in physics must include a unit. That's because units specify what you're measuring something in. If you say, I walked two to school today, I don't know if you meant two metres, two miles, two kilometres or even two light years. You need to specify what you're measuring in. Now, often units have got a prefix in front of them to change the size of the unit to make them more sensible to use. There's some common examples of the prefixes here. We've got mega, which is symbolised by a capital M, and that means times a million. We have kilo, with the symbol of a small k, which means a times a thousand. We have centi, a small c, which is one hundredth, and milli, small m, which is one one thousandth. Now we can also write these in standard form if you'd wish, and you can see that at the other side. We've got times 10 to the 6 for mega, times 10 to the 3 for kilo, times 10 to the minus 2 for centi, and times 10 to the minus 3 for milli. Now these are used to change the size of a unit to make them more sensible to use. For example, you wouldn't say, I walked 2,000 metres to school. You'd be more likely to say, I walked 2 kilometres to school. It makes the numbers easier to handle. Now, you need to know how to convert into and out of these prefixes. To convert from a prefix, you need to multiply by the value of the prefix. So for example, here I have 45 millimetres. To convert that 2 metres out of the prefix, so taking the milli out, I need to multiply by the value of a millimetre. So I do 45 times by the value of 1 millimetre, which is 1 one thousandth. And that will come up as 0.045 metres. That makes sense because a millimetre is quite small, so we'd expect this to be a small value of metres. It works the same for the large prefixes too. Here we've got 6.2 megajoules. To convert that into joules, I multiply by the value of mega. So 6.2 times the value of mega, which is 1 million. So 1 and 6 zeros. And that will come out as 6,200,000 joules. And this also helps us to see why we use these units. It's much easier to say 6.2 megajoules than 6,200,000 joules. If you want to convert into a prefix, you divide by the value of the prefix. So here I've got 3,600 volts. Let's say I want to write that in kilovolts. I need to divide by the value for kilo, which is 1,000. So 3,600 divided by 1,000 equals 3.6 kilovolts. And you can see that I've written it with the symbol for the prefix and then the usual symbol for volts, so kilovolts. Here we've got 0.078 metres. Let's say I want to write that in centimetres. Now the value for centi is 1 one hundredth, so I need to divide by that. So 0 0.078 divided by 1 over 100 equals 7.8 centimetres. Once again, this is a slightly more sensible unit to use. So unit prefixes are really helpful in making units more sensible and easy to understand make sure you know how to convert into and out of them.